Alright, right now this is just my desktop. Let's figure out what's coming. Wow, that got intensely loud. Um, but it's going over the folder essentially. I made this folder up just to organize the models that I'm creating here. So right now there's going to be a default model. That's what we're going to be creating. Then after that, I'm not going to do this on a stream, but there's an aqua model that'll need to be made for an aqua skin, a white skin, a gold skin, a green skin, and a light purple skin. All those I won't make on the stream. Um, the folders just contain a reference and element and voxels. So all of them contain the same exact things. And inside this, I have the main reference file, which I have slid over to my secondary desktop. Keep it out of the way. And then it's got a voxels folder also, an elements folder. Um, it's just to keep things organized and that's the folder. Let me go in real quick to grab a palette. I took a screenshot of the actual thing itself. So I know it's got a little white in it, it's got a little red in it, it's got a little bit of gray in it. I'll try to grab all those colors. And then I'll load that in as a palette. Go into paint, click on the options, load palette at the bottom, and then I load the screenshot in. And I pretty much got all the colors. Admittedly, this is gonna be a default color at the end, and then I'll skin it like and when I'm done and won't be a part of the stream. But I wanna make the model kind of, you know, close to the way the reference photo like would actually look. And to go back in and grab my reference, accidentally close that out. So the end model won't be red, but we're gonna work with the red to try to create it to be the same. Move over to just the cubic window. There's really no point in having the other stuff showing. And let's go ahead and I guess we'll start with the red. There's a bunch of different colors of red here. Doesn't really matter which one to be honest. <clears throat> Definitely gonna end up using 64, so I might as well just set my grids to 64, as well as everything else. Well, I might keep the display at 32, and that's just so I can see where the middle is a lot easier. this is actually centered or not we'll copy it over to the other side but I do want to at least try to make basically the shape of this in the shadow that it would be The idea here is just to get a really good, I guess, solid mesh, and then we'll convert that when we're done with the actual mesh.
<laughs> Captain Galaxy. Free cakes. Ah, Galax, sorry, 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 sorry. I do humbly, humbly apologize. And I know that I've done that probably so many times. I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably don't have it since I've known you. <laughs> I know I feel kind of bad. Alright. All these will go up one more. You know, Captain Galax, this is gonna sound really weird, and I guess I could probably just make all these little shapes myself. Actually, just Spax needs to maybe add in the ability to make it so that all these shapes, because I use a lot of these shapes at this angle, you know what I mean? And then when you go to try to change the uh, setting, I just need to ask Spax if you can. Maybe I'll just write on the, I'll write on the, the GitHub or whatever it is. I'll request that and see if, see if that'll be a thing. Strawberry, what's up? Um, I'd have to look at all of them to actually, like, you know, like, verify and say, like, yes, they all were or weren't, um, like, commissions. But I want to say yes. This is actually kind of rounded on the ends here. I think I can probably, probably get a sphere around that on the edge there. not lining up perfect but staying close. Grid settings, keyboard. Right. 
Um, Probert, put in the models in the Minecraft. Like, with this program, um, it's pretty, pretty simple actually now. There's literally a button after you make the model, so this one's totally not done yet. But after you make the model, you can hit export, and you can either export the model as a JSON to a certain model file, and that's a little bit complex in a way. It's not super complex, but it's a little more complex than the way I'm about to tell you. Um, you can literally click export and then click right here, um, zip Minecraft resource pack, and it'll make a Minecraft resource pack for you that will replace one of the glass blocks. So it kind of gets you started really quick by just letting you export a resource pack that's ready to rock and you can just see what a glass block looks like as your texture. Yeah, you can totally rename the glass block something else and replace it to a different texture, but it just gives you a really quick way, you know, like that, to be able to test and look at your models. I don't usually commonly use that way, to be honest. I'm used to the other way and they just kind of added that feature in, but it's not, way. Like, it's not a bad thing to use. And I know that's rounded there. I'm just gonna actually round that out myself. So I'm gonna keep this really boxy. Boxy brown right now. And at the butt of the gun here, it needs to start coming in. I really cannot tell what the back back end of this looks like. I'm gonna guess and put a little gray area in between. Definitely gonna cut up and reshape a lot of this, just um, just to get the shape. Captain Galax, what are you saying yes to? Oh, never mind. So if I would put it you know, on server players, would need to download the texture pack. Yeah, yeah, they would definitely need to download the pack. Either download it from you manually or add it to the server so that it's like an auto download. I don't know. I don't know why not limits on like higher. I mean, I get, we get higher resolution. Technically, the higher resolution you pull it into voxels, like in a way, or the higher grid setting you get, the more space you technically get. I mean, you know, to a certain extent. But I agree we should be able to make some things a little bit more like bigger. Like you can only go like, for instance, in the previous settings. I know this is definitely not done yet. Um, but in the previous settings, like, Captain Galax is probably probably talking about it. you can only go you know up to four before it like starts breaking the model so you only have like so big that you can actually make the models the workaround for that though would be just you know connecting multiple models together you'd have to use armor stands and stuff like that but I guess you could technically do it This, I wanted to be the handle along with some of the rest of the gun. I know there's a scope thing that goes on the top of this. I'm just gonna go ahead and just use this one. I'll make another round barrel around it. Um, that makes it fatter. Go ahead. 
and split that. We got a pretty good rough shape, I think, with the mash going on. I'm definitely gonna do the clip with the mash, why not? This thing's kind of weird. It's almost connected to the handle itself. It's just kind of odd. Okay, I'll look on Skype in a second. Um, can you add me? Okay, but I don't have time to make models. Okay. Trying to reply to everybody now, sorry. It's like a white box as the video is unavailable. Oh, okay. I feel you. Alright, I'll fix that. I'll fix that. You guys are totally right. Thank you, Kevin Gallagher, for real. I guess give me a second to fix that. See if you guys are in there now. I think I fixed it. Sorry about that. And thank you, Captain Gox. And hopefully I said it right. Uh. I tried to totally fix the stuff for you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. That's probably also why I wasn't really paying attention to it. Like out of the corner of my eye, I can see stuff move, but I didn't see anything moving. <laughs> Stop using it as a slave. <laughs> I was just testing you. I was just testing you. <laughs> I 
Well, thank you for bearing with the chat with stream, everyone. Jeez. Alright, well aside from some minor things obviously that we could probably add to this thing, I think the mesh part is done. It's time to convert it to voxels. But first, this needs to be stretched out a little more. Get ourselves a pretty rough shape. This needs to be stretched a little more. This back here doesn't look right. All right, everything's pretty straight. I'm gonna go ahead and save the mesh version of this now. I need to keep like every version of like the things I create like along the way. My dude, you've been modeling for four plus hours. Take a break. I have only been modeling for 23 minutes so far on this, but I feel you. I mean, like it's literally pretty much like my job. This is like, it's, it's a hobby that's turned into like a job. Like, I ended up quitting like a regular job to just continue doing this for people. I'm super, super thankful for it. So I'm not like sitting there like gloating. Like I'm not gloating. Like I'm very, very thankful for it. I would rather do this than just work anywhere else to be honest. This is great. Like, so I want to put time and I want to put effort into it. I don't know. <laughs> and if it ever fades, then you know, whatever. I can go back to a normal job, but That actually converted pretty well. It's not perfect, it's not perfect, but that's okay. We already have the voxels now, and that is a good thing. What I'm gonna do right now is I want both sides to match, and I feel like this side kind of did a better job of detailing itself. So I'm gonna copy the left side over to the right side. Blueprint, copy, slide, delete, paste, flip. So delete, paste, flip. Destination, I do remember you. <laughs> okay, three, three jobs, three modeling, server managing, slave managing. I don't know about slave managing. I don't manage anybody that's slave. Anybody that like helps on the server is completely like it's completely up to them. And I don't tell anybody to like you know like there's no like deadline, deadline, deadline. You you know I don't work anybody like. gonna work on rounding some of this on this side we'll probably copy and flip it over to the other side after that and then we'll start working on shaping a little bit more of that like adding the details and stuff into it also something I like to do is make sure my colors are all like right so like right here you can see there is like hidden there's this like ew, we don't want that <laughs> So I actually go in and usually just color all of the inside of stuff the same color. Right now, to make it easier on myself, I'm actually just going to make the whole dang thing red. I'm going to pick the 99 so that it actually colors the inside of those two. So hover over the whole entire thing. I'm going to turn it back to gray a lot easier. I do that so that when it converts it to elements, it doesn't end up picking up those hidden elements on the inside of the model. It's a lot more for it to convert, and then it's more for it to delete and optimize, so. I 
And I get it, that's kind of like one of those why did you even color in the first place things, but I really don't know, I guess. It just looked better in the building process to color it, I guess. Well, thank you, Dosh Nation. I think a lot of people just don't show, like, case their skills, to be honest. I, I mean, I'm not saying, like, I'm bad or anything like that, but I'm not saying I'm the greatest either. But there's some people that I've seen that just make some amazing, amazing things, but they just have no... There's no videos or nothing like that. They just, they just do it. They're just good at it. Like... But I do thank you for the comment. I'm not trying to, like... <laughs> Negate your comment. And make the red lighter. Um, when it's done, it's not even gonna be red. I'm just using the red as a base to help me color it. I need to make it a default color, and then there's gonna be skins for it. I know not everybody was tuned in, in the beginning of this, but here, this is my desktop. That's pretty clean actually right now, but. The space rifle is what we're working on, so we're going on a space assault rifle. Um, I've made a bunch of different folders. So we have the default, which is going to not be red at all. It's actually going to be like more gray colors and gunmetal. And then I need to make, after I make the default, I have to make an aqua version, a white version, a gold version, a green version, and a light purple version. Inside of each one of the folders, I have a reference, which I'm going to end up adding the icon into. I have an elements folder, which I'm going to add the elements version of the model into voxels folder which i'm going to add the voxel version of the model into and this default folder right now which i actually need to make a folder and call it mesh and drag the mesh into it so now i have the saved mesh i'm going to have a saved voxel version when i'm done and a saved element version and you can see inside here is the reference for the actual um assault rifle itself the only difference is i need to make it like a space version so i'm gonna add different little things like a pulse down the side and stuff like that so maybe that white area is actually gonna maybe be a neon green that we're gonna carve out and turn it into like a flickering pulse and then we might have to add some lines and stuff down the side like some pipes and tubing and stuff like that just trying to give it more of an i guess an alien or space feel than whatever this look is and i'm not saying it's not space or alien but um, just not sure. It still looks military to me. But I was only saying, or going over that right now, because this model is not supposed to necessarily look exactly like the reference. I actually have a little bit of creative freedom with this one. So, I don't know. I'm going to try to make it close to the same, but not exactly the same. And then I have to add it, you know, making it look like a space gun instead of, um, instead of what it is now. Reese Reese, what is up, man? Um, I don't know anything about um, factions, to be honest. You would have to ask. You'd have to ask other people in the chat about that. I've never played factions. I barely understand it, and that makes me sure sound like a noob. But I really only focus on the server that I manage, and probably should focus on other things. But yeah. And like, what I mean by that is not like I only focus on the server, but I don't really log into other servers and stuff like that unless people ask me to like, just check out kind of what they're doing or something like that. Like,
and pour out this middle here. Get in there. I need to make this inner area. I need to make it so it's actually three wide. Um, so I'm just gonna do like a little copy, copy and flip and stuff like that to end up getting it to the right shape. I'll check the chat in just a second. Sorry, everyone. I'm just, you see the blueprints sucked around the whole entire model. And then I'm just grabbing from this pixel. I'm gonna copy it and move it up. So copy, move it up. Make sure to delete it first. Hopefully it maintains its shape. Pretty much did. And I need to move it over by one. And the reason I actually did that was literally so I could end up coming in here and making this this cool little indent that this gun seems to have. I don't know, I feel like that's part of this gun. So I feel wrong, I feel wrong not to add that. So, I don't know, there was a reason for making that three wide. It's like a military, military or predator-ish. Yeah, that gun that they give me as a reference is really badass. Like, I'm sure, honestly, like some game developer or something like that modeled that too. That thing looks amazing. How do you show that you made the model, or don't you do that? Um, Mark V, I guess rephrase the question. How do you show that you made the models, or don't you do that? Some people don't need to see like that I've actually like created it at all. So like, um, and some people really literally won't let me even like show like me creating them. They tell me not to actually, not to film them and don't let anybody see them being made. Um, but for me to show people the models, um, what I do is I take a bunch of screenshots in game and then I'll also, um, I'll upload it to Sketchfab. Sketchfab's free and you can make your models private. So you could just end up, you know, sending them private links to view the models that you made. That's just, I guess, the ways that I can think of to do that. I probably should have literally just gave this a curve right off the bat, but I didn't. And now I'm kind of regretting that, but. That took longer than I probably should have. But... Alright, there we go. Oh, 
Well, thank you for that, Mark V. I was saying I could like that's what makes our proud of something maybe me. I definitely don't try to slack, like, and I don't like. I don't know. I'm not saying anybody does slack like it by any means. Like, but I'm not. I'm not afraid at all. Like to sit here, you know, if I have to for like four or five hours. Like, no, that's not something I want to do at all. And if every model took that long, I'm sure I would have to charge a little more, like, but... The clip is just not looking like what I wanted it to look like. It looks very awkward to me. Like, I don't hate it, but I do not necessarily like it. might not work, but it's worth a try. Well, it looks a lot better to me than it did, that's all I can say. Jamaican um, YouTube music it's just gotta go. It's a little, it's a little much, a little repetitive. Gonna be the clip. Less curves and fatter, please. I mean, I think I did make it kind of fatter. As far as curves, I've been taking it away a little bit by doing this. Bread and house. I mean, I, I guess you could say that. Side right here, not liking that. Let's see if I have anything, any more areas that are hollow. Hmm. 
I believe it's a little too much detail. Not that that's a bad thing, but I feel like emptying that out is just a little much. Got this red and the handle, which will end up being probably a different color. And I know this is not the most, you know, sexiest red we got going on here. Let's go curve. that switch this brush to one and go ahead and then indent this whole thing by one switch that too that's a bit repetitive um <laughs> sorry about that let me go ahead and get the green in here just want to copy this down one so that I can actually make it into a circle also and if that's not one so I would just copy delete and then paste this needs to be symmetrical you know what I'm saying this we wanted to round actually kind of if we could so Go ahead and kind of start the rounding on it. And I'm just going to come down the side here and do it like this. And I want you to just grow across. Um, one of my favorite things to do, to be honest, is skateboarding. That might sound a little weird. I mean, maybe not, like, but I don't know, that's literally probably one of my favorite things to do. Aside from, like, model. Modeling is definitely fun, like, like, at least for me it is. Like, I can see it being frustrating for some people. It was frustrating for me at first, for sure. <laughs> 
man, was it frustrating. Um, <laughs> we won't talk about those days. Patience is probably the, if you have patience, you will definitely be a lot better at this. <laughs> I do think a lot of people think that it literally is like 15 minutes, like to make like a, like a, like a good 3D model. I'm like, again, not saying this is the best thing ever, but most people probably think it would take, you know, 15 minutes. This is already 48 minutes now. And I mean, I started with mesh and I think that is probably the fastest way to go. Maybe not, you know? And as far as doing another model work, I, I'm probably not as far on stream. Maybe again tomorrow or tonight slash tomorrow, depending. It's the morning for me, so tomorrow morning maybe. I'm hoping to actually finish this one before my lady gets off of work. I always say that because she likes to come home and like just talk about her day and vent about the things that happened in her life. So I have to try to make time for that, obviously. And this looks like it is attached from the top and lays over. Do that iron. We got some little things over here, like pretty rounded, so. probably where I'll end up adding some like piping off of it and stuff so that it kind of starts looking like um like an alien gunner gun from space I only use the word space because space is the word that they're using so I don't want to say alien because it might not you know be an alien gun it's just more of a gun that's used in space This does seem to wrap around the trigger. But I don't think ours is going to do that. turn my mouse sensitivity down to be honest. I say that while drawing like perfect stairs, but it is a little bit high. Right, 
now it's starting to take a lot of the shape. It would be like 6.40 a.m. for me, so 6.40 in the morning. And I've been up, I've been up since yesterday. But I sleep kind of in the morning pretty much, like the morning into the afternoon, and then I wake up kind of the afternoon and stay up um, the night, or afternoon, late afternoon into the morning is basically when I stay up. So I get a normal sleep schedule, I'm not like, deprived of sleep or something. I just sleep a lot differently than most people do. missing just some things in this area I don't know what but something Yeah, that would be a fun project to be honest. I used to work only in elements until um, until Cubic Studio brought the voxel tools, and now to me like it was just like a little harder to kind of create. You know what I mean? Like the things that you can kind of envision, and the voxel tools, to me at least, kind of do that. Like you can, it's easier to bring out what you're imagining. And I'm not trying to say that like as a sales pitch. Like it's just it is easier. <laughs> All right, this looks like it goes kind of inward here. Work on that in a second. I'm gonna copy and copy and flip it again. And flip. 
I mean, we don't have the scope on it yet, but it's actually looking pretty good. Let's go ahead in the previous settings to set this puppy up. Vanilla block, 45. Wall. Negative two, just to bump it out from that a little bit. Head, I'm gonna throw it on back. I think it looks cooler when it's on your back. I'm gonna go ahead and 0 0.85 maybe for that. Go a little smaller. Right hand, throw it as a gun. It's pretty good. Definitely not the final one, I'm just setting the views. This is gonna see how it looks. Up a little bit. Actually, that looks like 0.8. Definitely looks more like an assault rifle, that's for sure. I don't know. Um, just like every view, like um, the wall and everything else, you can um, spin and look at it by holding down like your Alt key. So the same thing actually when you're in. Um, your first person view. You can look around the world actually. Holding on the alt key. Oh, I do a lot of Photoshop UV mapping. The pulse and stuff like that, the animation the animations and stuff are all manual textures. And then I have core max that I put on Planet Minecraft, K-O-R-E. You can look it up and play Minecraft if you want to. Those are all manual textures too. It's all um, all elements um, and Photoshop. It's not any um, voxel tools. It's made a Cubic Pro. Again, but then red. Oh, we're not gonna use the red. We'll spruce it up. It just starts off with this color. It starts off ugly colored. Um, I mean, personally, I don't know any other model live streamers, but I'm fairly certain there's a few other people that do live stream models. I'm, man, I really don't know. Like, I really don't know. Like, personally, obviously, I don't, I don't know, but I'm assuming so. If not, start so that I'm not the only one. Come on now. <laughs> Forever alone. Forever alone. <laughs> Just joking, I'm back. Alright, we have some more little penny things. I don't know what to call these. Rivets. Uh, 
and then there is a rivet holding this on up here. up things. It's really not messed up, but yeah. it needed to be just an extra pixel so that this can drop off like this and actually be like a separate part of the actual gun. of the model and I'm gonna pierce my way through that. Bam. I guess we have to go down one more technically if we're gonna get this right. That was just to add this little line across it. And I guess we can make these pins kind of kind of hold on to a little bit. I, I cannot pronounce your name, so I'm not going to try to butcher it, um, but welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hello. How are you doing? Just knocking it in one more notch. Now we can actually get to, I think, some of the coloring to actually make it more of the colors that I want to actually do it. So these, this, this red color that we got going on. Cheesecake. Okay, well, hello, Cheesecake. Welcome, Cheesecake. 
cheesecake is actually really delicious. Um, not saying that you are or aren't delicious, I don't really know. Um, Cake, you better sub him. The man needs a sub. so bright that it does not look like it's indented. Crafter, hello and welcome. I'm going to go ahead and flip to this palette now. Only reason I was using that one before was just to just build the model kind of close to how it was. Missing the scope on the top. I personally kind of think that the plasma pulse will look pretty cool if it's kind of climbing up. 
into the trigger here. Um, make money off of YouTube? Yes and no. Um, I'm not like supposed to obviously. Everybody's not supposed to say like what they make and stuff like that. But like, I've never ever made over twenty dollars a month on YouTube. Like ever. So like, if that helps to say like I've made anything off YouTube, I like, guess I've made like in the end at the end of a year, I could probably buy like like a new keyboard or something like that. Like in a way. Like but not really anything and I don't know if that's because that's not because they add apocalypse I'm sure or anything like that like that's I don't have very many subscribers obviously um not like I'm not mad at that like or anything like that um and my channel's just you know some voxel art and things about minecraft so I wouldn't expect you know to get as many views as stuff like I don't know drama alert Logan Paul Jake Paul things like that like I don't know if you guys even watch those things. I don't necessarily watch all those things, but those are things that, you know, are super popular and, like, trending or whatever. So, I definitely am not getting any views like that. And I'm sure if I got those views, then I would probably make over, you know, $20 or maybe $20 a month. It's I don't even make it weekly or nothing like that off YouTube. I mean, definitely a good question, though. Gonna add some more neon into this. Question is how to neon stripe it. I guess this right here could actually be a little dose of neon in the back. Why not? I feel like it's not as um, it's not as heavy metal looking as this is in this area. Really bad analogy, but I'm gonna work with it. Yeah. Something about it looking like an arrowhead was not my favorite look right there, so. Novoi or Nova? I'm not sure which way to pronounce it. Um, but how would you find servers that um, need models? To be honest, I haven't had to really look for anybody, so I really don't know. Like. I've been doing like these streams, I've been making models for honestly like I think three years now, maybe a little bit longer. Ever since Cubic Pro's been out, so I do not know how long I would have to find out when Cubic Pro was released. I bought it like a month afterwards. Uh, so like I've been modeling for quite some time now and most people just randomly find me and message me. I'm really kind of wonder how still. And that's not a joke, like I still literally, literally kind of wonder how. Gun needs to have a base color. All its clips need to be a lot lighter. So let's lighten it up a little. We'll do the second darkest. And it looks good right here. Alright. Those need to be a light color.
I feel like these lines, as much as I want them to be indents, I think they might actually look better. We'll find out if I color them in with the neon too. The neon is going to be a pulse, and the gun, if you haven't noticed, it's supposed to end up looking like a space gun or futuristic gun at the end. So it's not supposed to actually look completely like the reference. The reference is kind of a guide for the shape of it. At least that's what I was told, so. Hopefully this ends up looking all right. I think it looks all right so far. This I'm not liking. You can see right in my main view right here. I get this. I want this to actually be, you know, like another pixel taller. It needs to be that way. Otherwise, my OCD in my head is gonna flip out. Um, so I'm gonna fix that real quick. So we just got the whole model selected. We're gonna copy it, move it up. This might end up messing up some things, but hopefully it doesn't mess up too much of the shape where we have to go through and actually redo a lot of it. Looks like it's gonna work out just fine. Thanks, Mark. I mean, it, it, you guys can make stuff like this too. It really just, I mean, it takes time. We're into an hour and 20 minutes right now. So, you know, anybody who's just jumping in is like, whoa, this, you know, may have taken a couple seconds. So, you know, you have patience. I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to learn it. And the program's not super confusing. I think the coolest part, like, is that it's for Minecraft. Not like that Minecraft is, like, you know, the greatest game. I like it a lot, to be honest. Like, realistically, I really like it a lot. But the fact that I can make a model and then throw it into a video game, be it Minecraft, um, is just awesome. Like, I can make whatever the hell I want in a way. And then, you know, an hour, two hours later, I can literally play with it in game. Like, yeah, it's not, you know, Skyrim or something like that. But it's a game that I get to mess with the own, my own creation, you know, in, which... I don't know, that's really cool. <laughs> Maybe I'm just nerding out, but I think that's really cool. Alright, this still needs to get a base type of silver added to it. that color at all. Let's go ahead and try to make our own. I'm gonna go into this blue area. I feel like gunmetal is close to blue. Looks better. darker color right now. I think I can just click on that and change it. Yeah. We'll change the grip a little bit darker. Maybe the back.
Uh, the black is in the current version. Hold on, I will pause for a second here. I just gotta figure out where it's at real quick so that I don't mess anything up and show you guys stuff that I don't wanna be shown, no offense. Um, okay. So in Cubic Studio, in your preferences, I'll show you how to get to this in a second. You just go to tools and go to preferences. And your preferences in your display settings, um, I can actually change this to my character to be honest. But that's alright, I'll just leave it in two clicks. Um, you have dark UI and light UI, so I just click it on dark UI and that's what gives you the dark mode. So it's not, I guess it's a new feature, but not super new. It should be in the cubic cab though. I feel like this needs a little darker contrast than it is still. Yeah, it's a little better. It's looking pretty good. I like the color scheme that I picked so far. Oops. Don't want to cut through that part. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Grab a really light color here. To run my imaginary tubing. So I'm gonna hit to that point. I'm gonna hit that point. And to be honest, we'll probably just wrap it into this thing. This will be a perfect little spot. To end it at. Put those points there so that I could take this tool and just stretch from here, delete, stretch from here, delete, and stretch it to there, delete, and then gives it the wire. Now I gotta go and delete those two blocks and that block. The three touch back works, thank you. You're welcome. It is really easy, like, you know, once you make the model, like I said, just hit export and then export it as a dot zip and it'll make a resource pack for you. You can kind of edit the resource pack from there. And if you already know, you know, a little bit more about resource packs, then you don't have to do that. Or you can just do that and then, you know, copy the model textures from that too. So it could just be an easy way to do it, just regardless. In here, I don't know, this is missing anything. And some kind of flare. And that looks alright. I'm really not liking where this wire ended up going. I think I'd almost rather go into the, just the side of the gun somewhere. Still needs a bit more plasma, I feel like, because if it is an alien gun... This can probably stay black. 
don't want to give it too much. I'm just kind of do those stripes down the side like it kind of has. Alright, and then this area, I don't really feel like dealing with trying to copy that perfectly and if I were you and you were modeling too you wouldn't want to have to deal with copying that perfectly either so just gonna take the blueprint here get it to the same size as that go ahead and copy it and move it over and I can already see that I'm gonna have to move some of that thing Go ahead and just knock it over. Perfect. Just gonna paste her a little. I guess tiger stripe. Just indenting the tiger stripe. pronouncing your name wrong um, the in the description what the plugin is I've only made one plugin like ever and it's called taunt me and it's a spigot plugin so if you manage a server and you use spigot you can load that plugin into your server and it allows you to use a resource pack to call upon custom sounds there's a video that explains it a bit more But essentially, I'd like to learn how to code. I don't know how to code like yet, so no, nobody could hire me or anything for that. I, just, I don't know enough. <laughs> but I really want to learn. It's something that's really interesting to me, and it's something that's really time-consuming too. So if you have, you know, patience is the key. I'm almost gonna call this model done. There's gonna be a little bit to wrap it up before we put it in game. But man, I think it came a long way and I do I do like this one also. I really think this one came out pretty well. I like the tiger stripe that I added on the top, on the sides. And if it looks like a gun that you know you would shoot in space, then mission accomplished is is where I'm at here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it to this side and then I'm gonna get rid of this little trigger thing or the cocking mechanism on the other side of it so that there is only one side with a cocking mechanism. And then, let's grab a lighter silver. Lighten those up a little bit real quick. Alright, copy it over to the other side now. Double check all our preview settings. This side, we want to delete the cocking mechanism on one of these sides. So that 
that's that's just the side I'm picking. I forgot the top uh, scope. I'll do one more copy flip just so that I can get that straight on the other side. thing my cocking mechanism that's right it wasn't that hard to create so another model on discord I'll take a look at it when I can <laughs> all right check my previous settings for this bad dogger Something that I don't like. That's how the scope kind of looks. better as far as the scope goes I think definitely looks like a space gun to me check the head head looks good floor looks good one as voxels and then go ahead and copy that name alright here comes I guess the fun part taking this tool and I'm going to delete all of the green I'm going to copy this I'm gonna go ahead and command Z back all of that. And then I'm gonna get rid of every color that isn't green. So I 
Alright, now that we've gotten rid of every color that is green, I'm going to convert this to elements in the palette. I'm going to go ahead and delete this, delete this, rename this to particle. I'm not even going to use that texture, I have my own texture for the particle, neon green pulse. Go back to voxels, paste the model on top of it. I deleted the green before I copied it, so you've got those elements hidden inside right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and convert the model now to Atlas. It's going to leave me that texture with the custom texture that I made in Photoshop for the pulse. So the animated pulse I made prior, and all of these models are all using the same animated pulse. If every time I opened Photoshop and had OBS open at the same time, it didn't crash, I would show you the actual custom texture, but realistically it's just pretty much a really long 4x4 texture, so it's actually 4x16 I believe, so it's just 4 repeating over and over again. Right here we get our Mesh Atlas, I'm going to go ahead and rename this to texture, it's just Force of Habit, and then, oh, I already renamed it, we're going to save this into our gun folder, I'm going to name this Default. This is the default version of this gun. I'll go ahead and copy that name too. It's saved now. I need to load it. So I'm going to load it in the side. It's loaded now. Space Assault Rifle. Default. Go ahead and optimize everything. Settings. I'm going to exclude the hidden elements. So any hidden element won't be um, in the JSON file on export. That's going to make a really lighter model and stuff like that. Um, just better for FPS all around. And then this, I'm going to click on to avoid the bleeding textures. This is just going to make it so everything runs together smooth and it modifies the UV mapping automatically for you. I've noticed there's a glitch in Cubic right now that once you click any setting on, this setting here checks off. If you're not rotating your model, you won't have to worry about this. But just as a force of habit, I've been going back in here and checking it on. So. I'm going to save this version as an elements version. I'm going to export this into my gun area and space assault rifle default go ahead and switch over to my desktop now i'm going to close cubic this is the folder i have i didn't make an icon yet which i should have actually made actually i'm just gonna let's go in and make an icon real quick file open we can use the elements version or the other version, it doesn't really matter. Export, I'm naming it icon, saving it as a PNG on my desktop. All the icon do is give me this little picture here, which I'm going to slap on top of the default. And I'm also going to slap on top of the space rifle folder. Inside the defaults here, I'm going to go ahead and drag my voxel version in there. I'm going to drag my element version in there. So now I have an element version, a voxel version, and the mesh version of this model. Just in case I want to make touch-ups, changes, etc, etc, etc. They're all in here, as well as the reference file that helped me create it. And I'm going to drag the icon in there. This is just how I do things. You do not have to do this like this. It's just the way that I do it, to get, just to keep it organized. I'm going to go ahead and go into the pack real quick to kind of show you all the um, predicates. So the reason I saved it all in the custom folder and stuff like that is these are all the predicates that are going to make up those models. So right now we were doing the Space Assault Rifle default, and that is going to be um, a damaged model that is a diamond hoe that is damaged seven times. We're also going to add the unbreakable tag to it so that we can use the regular default diamond hoe just like Minecraft normally uses, and then we'll hide all of these models as a damaged item. So I'm going to go jump into Minecraft right now and go ahead and show you guys the actual finished model itself. So going to single player. This is just a world like any normal world. There's nothing really special about it. I have a few command blocks that'll place armor stands, but nothing really special. 
these are the past models. So that was a different stream, different stream. Let's go ahead and put these all in there. As you can see, they're all diamond hose. And that's what we're doing with that JSON file that you see. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap that command in. And boom, it gives me the new diamond hoe. And if you look, we got a regular diamond hoe here. And I'm gonna go ahead and damage it. So let me go ahead and switch to game mode. Survival. Yo, this is a bad idea to not be in a grassy area, but as you can see, as we damage this hoe, this hoe just stays a default. Nothing will ever change. Just just normal hoe. And then we have, you know, the hidden diamond hoe that's unbreakable. And that hoe is a beastly gun that doesn't fire because we don't have anything set up for it, but Also, you probably can see the pulse going on now. It'll probably look a lot better when it's not spinning, so let me hold it in my hand. Show you all the pulse. Look a lot better at night, too, but you can see it. You can see it doing its magic. I'll go ahead and change this to night, I guess. display that a little better yeah you can see the pulse for sure yeah I smoke cigarettes I'm sorry I'm not a vapor or anything like that and yeah I'm not telling anybody to do that I'm not saying everybody should smoke you shouldn't neither should I obviously but I do it, okay? I do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about it. This could be a little bigger, almost in the GUI. But everyone else is pretty, pretty good. Yeah, well, I'm not, like, ashamed about it. Like, it's just, I don't want anybody to necessarily, like, pick up bad habits for me. Like, so, that's the main thing. All right, well, um, guys, gals, thank you all for watching. To be honest, it, it helped me pass the time, and I hope, um, I hope it helped learn, like, teach you guys something if anybody was, or, you know, if anybody needed to know something, you know, didn't know, maybe it helped, maybe it didn't. Um, yeah. And also, I guess I hope these little time lapse stream things um, just go to show along some things I should create. Like, think about that also, like, not even just for me, like, in general, but when you see somebody who makes, like, a really good pack, and even if they make it for free or something like that, just, I don't know, give them some, some props. Like, I don't know. Because they probably spent a lot of time on it, and they're super happy to let everybody use it. So, I don't know. Peace out, everyone, and as usual, have a good one. Captain Galaxy, back for the end. It's the end, but it came out pretty good. You'll have to see it on Sketchfab. Anyway, <laughs> peace out, everyone, and how are we going? It is definitely um, getting close to my bedtime. Peace out, everybody.